Isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa pag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating Itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Klase sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating Alive Program para sa mga mag-aaral mula Grade 1 hanggang Grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS Program at Fed Tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes, mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and SPED learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello everyone! Good morning and happy Friday and happy Reading Remediation Day! Ayan! So hello sa lahat ng ating mga viewers, sa ating mga beloved shooties. Ayan! Sige, magsa-shoutout muna tayo before we begin. Shoutout kay Faye Paula Perin Calixtrio. So from grade, ayan, grade 5 Neptune FSS Patulo. Elementary School, Marilao, Bulacan. Ang advisor niya ay si Ma'am Micheline Alonzo. And ang kanyang principal ay si Dr. Elma C. Ege. And shout out din kay Shania Venice, same school from Pinaod Central School, San Ildefonso South District, SDO Bulacan. So ang advisor niya ay si Ma'am Jenter Jane. And ang kanyang principal ay si Sir Solomon C. Fernandez. Ay, mali pala ako, hindi pala same school. Yung kanina ay Patulo Elementary School at ang isa ay sa Pinaod Central School. And of course, shout out din kay Aubrey Madison. So, from eto, Pinaod Central School. Ayan, si Ma'am Jenter J ng kanilang advisor, napaka-supportive. And also kay Mark Renskanlas. Ayan, mukhang magkaklas ito, no? Uh, tinupad nila yung promise nila na mag invite sila ng mga classmates and friends. Good job! And of course, shoutout din kay Adrian Ray Rivera ang uh, from 
uh, Gan uh, San Pedro Villa Concepcion Elementary School, Rojas East District, SDO Isabella. So, ang advisor niya ay si Ma'am Sani Bicarme. And ang principal niya ay si Sir Rodelio Domingo. Hi po, good morning. And shout out to Lian Galang. Ayan, grade 5 P.O. Del Pilar of Pinaod Central School, South in San Ildefonso, South District. Si ma advisor is si Ma'am Blessy Valdez. Hello po. And of course, shout out kay Morphin Angel Dave Nagompresa. Ayan, from... Gamu Central School at Region 2. So, advisor is si Maria, Ma'am Maria Teresa Ramirez. And principal ay si Ma'am Aurea Nalev. So, hello po. Happy learning sa ating lahat. And of course, shout out kiden kay Cheska Sanchio, San Sanchanko, ayan, from Spinaol Central School. At ang advisor din niya ay si Ma'am Jenter Jane, ayan, good job, magkakaklase, no? And also, shout out din kay Arkin Stephen B. Faustino, from Spinaol Central School. At saka, ang advisor ay si Ma'am Jenter Jane din, hello po. And, sino pa ba? Ayan. Wait, scroll. And, okay. Si Aileen Oku. It's Friday and it's Reading Remediation Day. Yes. Si Aileen ay mula sa New Corella Central School, Ele Central Elementary School. So, ayan. From Davao del Norte. So, ang advisor niya ay si Ma'am Phoebe Jane Gozon Sarona. And ang advisor ay si Dr. Hilda Ermia. Hello po. Good morning. Ayan. Sige, later on. Pag ayan, si Clyde Liam. Nakikita ko na din yung comment niya. Good morning po. Ayan, no? Ayan, maraming thank you sa lahat. Okay, so, ayan. So, let's proceed to the readers of the week. Of course, andyan, si Heavenly Heart, Yutang Hian. Congratulations. And congratulations din kay Morphin Angel Dave Nagung Preza. And congratulations din kay Adrian Ray Rivera and Eileen Joy Awkward. Yes, hello and congratulations. And hello, good morning kay Tutor Roma. No, 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 din. Hello po. And ayan, another readers of the week is Clyde Leah Mangiliman, Shania Venice de Jesus, Gerald R.V. Dula Cantor, and also we have Ria Janine Gorospe. Ay, ano, share ko lang si Ria, no? Kahit hindi siya nakakapanood ng ating live, take note, ay nagre-replay siya ng ating uh, live sa ating Facebook page. Yes, thank you so much, Ria, and congratulations. Oh, eto na si Heavenly Heart. Nakita ko yung comment niya. Yan, watching from San Roque Central Elementary School. So, the vision of Davao City. So, ang advisor niya ay si Ma'am Fevi Andrea Pardillo at ang principal niya ay si Ma'am Mariclu Mateo. Okay. So, another readers of the week. We have Faye Paula Perin Calix Trio. We have Elise Jane Antriguinho. Meron din si Elian Galang. And we have Cheska Sanchanko. Yes naman, congratulations to you guys. And also, we have, of course, ang bagong-bagong si Arkin Stephen V. Faustino. Congratulations. And kay Felicity Lorraine. We have also Sarah Marie Marantal and Trisha Lorraine M. Pa. Guyo, yes, congratulations. And of course, meron din si Krisha May Cruz na bago din sa ating Readers of the Week. At si Kyle Joseph Salvador Tubaon. And of course, bago din si John Vincent A. Gadi. Yes, congratulations guys and congratulations sa lahat ng mga NASA Readers of the week and if you want to get featured just don't forget to take a picture with us while attending the live session of our it's live 
and also you have to participate in our uh, in our discussions later on okay so it's quarter four and week two already so our topic is about recognizing similarities and differences wow what a nice topic for today Okay, si Mark Renskan Las Munoz. Hello. So, ayan, nagko-congrats siya sa mga readers of the week. Okay, so for our lesson objective for today is recognize similarities and differences. Wow, so excited na ako for today's topic. Okay, but before that, let's proceed to the word of the week of course hindi mawawala ayan so shout out din kay um tutor match yan nanonood din siya hello po and i of course our word of the week is the word similar again our word of the week is the word similar can you say it with me in one two Three, similar. Mm. So the word similar is a noun meaning having characteristics in common, strictly comparable. Again, our word of the week is the word similar. It is a noun meaning having characteristics in common strictly comparable so when you say similar it is a person or thing that is similar to one another hmm. they have the same characteristics or they have in common something like that okay so let's see so the synonym of the word similar is alike Mm, so, parang sa synonym pa lang, alam na natin ang ibig sabihin ng similar, right? Okay. So, uh, you can make your own sentence using the word similar. Mm, si Marthin, meron na siya agad example. So, mm, sabi niya, hmm, do I have, do I, do I have similarities in a story? Mm, sabi ni Aileen naman, me and my cousins are alike me. Mm. So, let's have our first example. So, the first example is, Paula looks very similar to her mom. Si Faye Paula to. Faye Paula looks very similar to her mom. Mm. Next example, another example Gerald, Gerald RV, has a similar pencil case to his best friend. Wow, naman. So, another example from, from Clyde Liam Mangiliman. Sabi niya, the Airbus A330 has a similar cockpit window as the Airbus A340. Wow, mukhang, mukhang alam ko na yung gustong kunin na course ni Clyde, pag siya nag-college, ay gusto niya maging pilot. Wow! Siguro sasakay tayo sa, pag naging piloto si Clyde, ay sasakay tayo. Wow! Sabi ni uh, Faye, ay sabi ni Marthin is, Faye, Paula, pa rin ka, like, nood ka na. Yes! <laughs> nood ka na. And also, ayan, sabi ni Shania is, their look, like twins na po. Wow, really? Mm. Nandito ako, Martin. Oo nga naman, nandito si Faye Paula. <laughs> Ang cute, nagkocommentan sila sa isa't isa. Okay. So, oh, si Faye, agad ako lala. Hi, Faye. Good morning to you. Si Aileen, sabi niya, the twins are have similar dress and thought. Mm -hmm. Wow, good job. Okay, so last week on reading remediation, what happened last week? Ayan, so Twinkle needed the help of the travelers. 
she has to meet King Moon to help her solve her problem. Wow! Oh, si, si Adrian Ray ay may example siya. Sabi niya is, Anna and Maria has a similar characters. Wow, yes, that's right. So, another another review what happened last week is they went to the king to king moon's castle and met the first night okay so the, ayan we got the key in night one that's right a uh, morthin and eileen sabi niya, we passed the guard one oh si fate sabi niya, sorry po late nanonood po ako ng epp it's okay <laughs> Okay, so let's review. I hope you still remember our past lessons. So what are they? They are recognizing the five W's. So yung, yung what, who, where, when, why. So let's review. So for the directions, is you just have to arrange the jumbled letters to form the correct word that matches the given definition. So it is, I, I'm sure this one you will get a perfect score because it is very, very easy. Okay, so let's begin. Ready na po, sabi ni Aileen. Wow, good job. So for our, for the item number one, Oh, you just have to arrange the jumbled letters. Okay, the letters are, <clears throat> sorry, H-A-W-T, meaning the event in a story. First, middle, and ending. What is the answer? <laughs> oh, meron na kaagad. Si Faye Paula, nireview niya yung five Ws. Thank you so much. Martin said, what? And Arthin, Heavenly Heart, Shania Venice, Eileen, ayan, uh, ayan, okay, go, ayan, see, ayan, sina Arkin, sina Martin, Shania Venice, Faith, Agatha, Kulala, ayan, ang sagot nila ay what? W-H-A-T, ang sagot nila. So, let's reveal the uh, the answer for item number one is... Yes, that's right. It's what? The event in a story. And good job. You got correct one. Correct na correct. Okay, so let's proceed to item number two. The letters are... O, W, H. Napakadali, no? <laughs> the main characters or the characters in the story or text. It talks about the people, the characters. The main characters, the supporting. <clears throat> Ayan, may sagot na. Ang bibilis. Si Heavenly Heart, sabi niya, who? And also Martin Angel Dave, Shania Venice. Faith Agatha, Arkin Stephen V. Faustino, one of the readers of the week. Si Faith Agatha, si Faith Paula, ayan, Eileen mm, Ohud, ayan, ang sagot nila ay who? <laughs> Sabi ni Eileen, akala ko how? Ha, ha, ha. Who pala? Oo nga naman, no? <laughs> Nakakalito yung mga letters. Kung babalik ta rin ang who ay maging how. Oo nga, no? Hmm. Ang, ang galing nun. Ang witty nun. That's right, Aileen. So, all of you, you answered who, including Mark Renz Canlas Munoz. So, let's reveal the answer for item number two. The answer is yes, it's who it talks about the people or the characters in the story or text. Good job, everyone. And the Adrian, who then? Okay. So for number three, meaning the place where the story takes place. Lugar. Napakadali na. 
Ayan, si Heavenly Heart nangunguna. Sabi niya, I wear. Ayan, papangalawa si Martin. Sabi niya, I wear that. And including Faith Paula Prince Calixtrio. And also Faith Agatha. We have Shania Venice, Lian Galang. Ayan, si, si Eileen, si Faith. They answered, where? Ang bibilis sumagot, no? Napakagaling. Yes, where ang sagot ninyo? All of you, you answered where, including Arkin, Stephen V. Faustino. Okay, I think kahit nakapikit to, masasagot ninyo, right? <laughs> okay, so the answer for item number three is... Where? Yes, where? So it talks about the place. Where the story takes place. You know, actually, meron na sagot dito. Eh, yan, no? The place where. W-H-E-R-E. -E. Diba? <laughs> Ayan, si Martin sabi niya, nag-joke siya. Wala talagang tatalo sa signal ni Heavenly. <laughs> okay, so let's proceed to item number four. For the for item number four, yeah, so the letters are E, H, and W. The time or date that a story takes place. Wow, ano yung sagot? Ayan, nauna, Shania Venice, sabi niya, when? Heavenly Heart, when? Faith, when? Sabi niya, si Martin, when? Faith, sagot din niya, ay when? Including Faith, Paula. Ayan, including Eileen. Ayan. Si Arkin Stephen. When din ang sagot niya. And even Adrian Ray. Ayan. <laughs> Sabi ni Heavenly, mabagal po signal Kuya Martin. <laughs> yes. All, and also Lian Galang. Sagot nila ay when. Where? Where? Oh, si Lian, where ang sagot? W, number 4, where ang nakalagay. So, ayan. So, let's reveal the answer for item number 4. <laughs> si Martin ang advance. Sabi niya, 5. Number 5, why na po? Kasi lahat na po yun sa 5 W's. <laughs> okay, so, wait lang. <laughs> Chill ka lang. So, for na item number 4, the answer is when. Yes, that's right. May sagot na agad for item number 5. O sige na nga. So, for item number 5. So, the letters are YHW. So, the important reasons that lead up to an event. Ano yung sagot? Ayan. So, may sagot na lahat. Why ang sagot nila? All of them, all of you answered why. So, it's correct. Good job, everyone who got a perfect score. I think everyone got a perfect score, right? Ayan, sige, why lahat ang sagot? So, I think all of you got a perfect score. Five out of five. Good job, everyone. Yay! Five stars for you. And I hope later, during our application time, you will get also a perfect score. So, later on, we will find out. So, let's Begin. Mm. So, pag nakita na to, ano yung kaya mangyayari? So, let's begin. Helping a friend is the new adventure. Helping a friend is the new adventure. Ayan. Ayan. So, shout out kay, wait lang, by the way, may nag-message sa akin. So, shout out kay Prince Sampang. So, Prince Sampang is watching. So, hello. Shout out to you. Ayan. So, let's begin. Ang ganda ng title, no? Helping a friend is the new adventure. So, let's begin. They shine comes so boldly as if declaring that colors mother. Inviting us to open our eyes a little wider and let him in. I am confident with Chorney. I know we'll be able to help Twinkle. 
Indeed, let's comfort her by assuring she has nothing to worry about. We'll be able to ask King Moon for help. Twinkle? Twinkle? Good morning, travelers. Shall we go now? Wow, excited to see Twinkle. Hmm. Ayan, so hello kay Altea, Rain, and Bilo. Alright, let's go. We should we should not waste any minute. Are you ready? So are you guys ready? Hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's find out. Okay. The journey to King Moon. So are you guys excited to the, to the next journey towards King Moon. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin. We were able to suppress the first night. That's something already. I am quite nervous for the second night. I hope we surpass his challenge too. Of course we will, Twinkle. With the help of our great four to six travelers, we will able to surpass any reading remediation challenge. Agree? Agree ba kayo doon? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's very comforting to hear. I am so grateful to all of you, dear travelers, grades four to six that are watching now. So, guys, again, let's help twinkle okay so comment down below using the heart emoji okay sabi ng night two you can't proceed to the next night if you will not able to surpass my challenge because the key to open the door of night three is the reward for my challenge good luck sabi ng night two so let's begin night two challenge the topic for today is the is the similarities and differences wow excited na ako for today's challenge ayan ang dami ko comment na heart 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 yes excited na excited na okay let's begin so we will talk about similarities and differences so in I think word of the week a while ago it's it's the word similar. So let's define similarities and differences. When you say similarities and differences, it describes what characteristics are alike or different between two or more things. So when you say similar is parejo, they have similarities, they are alike. They have something in common. They have something in characteristics. And when you see differences, is they have a different from between two or more things. It's very easy. Similar and different. So similarities and differences. So they are often often used as examples to support an argument, idea, or feeling. Yes, that's right. So when uh, it is often often used as examples when we compare the two things, like to support an argument, an idea, or a feeling. So they are alike. They have something uh, in in common. They are alike and somehow as they are different from each other so later on we will find out the different kinds of different examples of similarities and differences so let's begin same and different sabi ni heavenly heart okay so there are types of similarities and differences so you guys can uh take notes okay so let's begin so the first one is comparison. Comparison. When you say comparison is not noting factual similarities and or differences between two subjects. So when you say comparison is the process of comparing 
two or more people or things. Between two subjects. Sabi dito is between two subjects. Maybe the, and the persons, maybe the, uh, maybe the things, something like that. So, you, you're comparing it from the word itself, comparison, compare. So, yun. The process of comparing two or more people or things. Remember that, ha? Huh? And for item, uh, next item for number two, I saw example ng comparison is Jack and Jai, Jack and Jill, Jack and Jai both enjoy playing sports. But Jack likes tennis while Jai likes badminton. So they compare it, no? Yung similarity sila is they both enjoying playing sports. But kinumpere natin sila. Uh, so, si Chuck, Chuck likes playing tennis, while Jai likes badminton. So, but they have something in common. They have similarities. In similarities nila is they both enjoy playing sports. But, their differences is Jack likes to play tennis. So, and also, while Jai likes to play badminton. Mm. Nun. So, that's the comparison. Remember that. So, take note. So number one is comparison. Okay, next example. Item next. Number two. Classification. So, what is classification? So, when you say classification is... Grouping things into categories based on specific characters. So, yung palang classification is grouping things. So, when you... Wait, sabi ni Heavenly Heart, similar blood that run through their veins. But they have different characteristics. Yes, that's right. Uh, Heavenly, good job. I like that. Tamang tama, correct. And si Heavenly Martin, ay sabi niya, classify. Yes. When you say classification, is the process of arranging things, either normally or nationally, in groups or classes, according to their resemblance. Yes, you have to classify. Si Felicity, hi, hello. Uh, good morning to you. Ayan, sabi niya. Fast hands. Bilis ha. Kakagaling mo lang sa APP eh. <laughs> Ayan. So, okay. So, when you say classifications is to classify. You, you're grouping it. The process of arranging it. Arranging things according to their resemblance. According to their specific character. 36, according to their kinds, something like that. Ayan, sabi ni Felicity, sorry po, tutor, late po, kasi nasa EPP po ako, kakatapos lang. Yes, it's okay, nothing to worry. Okay, yes, congrats ha, si Felicity, a one of the readers of the week. So, example of classification is, although they're Bodies look very like some mammals. Penguins have feathers like other birds. O, di ba? Ayan, ito. Classifications according to their uh, kinds, according to their characteristics, something like that. So, penguins have feathers like other birds. Mm. So, that's the example of classifications. Ay, wow, sabi niya na, yeah. So, take note, ha? Huh? That's, so that's the second one, classification. So, yung first is comparison. Second naman is classification. Okay. Martin, sabi niya, ah, sabi ni Heavenly, uh, just like fruits and vegetables, class A, mas mahal. And class B, medyo mas mura. 
Mm, yun. Tama. <laughs> Tama yun. Okay. So, take note of that. So, that's for number two. Uh, classification. So, let's proceed to number three types of similarities and differences. So, for the next one is metaphor. When you say metaphor, what is metaphor? So, using an action or object to describe another action or object without using like or as. Ah, so, when you say metaphor, it is uh, using an action or object daw to describe, but without using the word like or as. So, when you say metaphor, it help, it help us to describe something. So, figurative language and it states that one thing is another thing. So, remember, without using like or as. So, you will describe something or you will describe one thing is another thing. <laughs> Yan, no? Yan, no? So, it describes another actions or objects without using like or as. So, let's see the example. So, the, the football was stampeding bull on the field. The football was stampeding bull on the field. So, that's example of metaphor. Ayan. So, let's review again. Ano yung first one? Is yung comparison. The second one is classification. And the third one is metaphor. Okay, ha? Take note of that. So, let's proceed to number four, the last, ex last types. So, for the fourth one is analogies. Mm. I hope you still remember what is analogies. Uh, na na we already discussed this one, so analogies. So, when you say analogies, it's finding similarities between two unrelated things. Between two unrelated things. So, analogies is meaning compare, compares two things that are similar in some ways. You you're comparing, you're finding the similarities between two unrelated things. They have some... Uh, they have some similarities in some way. They are similar in some way. So, example of analogy is a bank distributes money as a supermarket distributes food. The buys to remember the our our topic about analogies. You merong as target na. Ayan. So, a bank distributes money as a supermarket distributes food. Yes, you're, you're, looking for, you're looking for a similarities between two unrelated things. These are related to each other, but they, but they, are, they are the same. Yeah, finding similarities between two unrelated things. Diba? Isn't it our, uh, our, our previous topic about analogies is yung the, door, uh, the dog barks as a cat meow, something like that. Is there remember that? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Something like that. Analogies. Okay. So, can you can you give an example of analogies? Last time, we already talked about this one. Yeah. For example, the dog, the dog barks as a cat meows. Something like that. Can you make your own example of analogies? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, si Shania ang 
ang similarities sila, uh, sabi niya, yung similarities ng example ng a bank, a bank distributes money as a supermarket distributes food. So, ang similarities sila is they both distribute things po. That's right. Yun yung similarities nila. That's right. So, what, what is your example of of the analogies? Ayan. Yung isa, ayan. A cat meows as a dog barks. Yes. Mm -hmm, that's right. They are both animals. Mm -hmm. My my coffee tastes like chocolate. Hmm. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're go gonna get. Yes, that's right. Good job. Yes, thank you so much. For example, Fate Paula, Fate, and Martin. Yes, thank you guys. Okay, so again, let's review before we proceed to the reading time. Let's review the four types of similarities and differences the first one is comparison the second one is classification the third one is metaphor and the fourth one is analogies so let's proceed to its reading time and the title of our reading time is the twin peonies so when you say when when you uh when you say the word Peonies is it's kind is a kind of flowers. So later on, we will see the picture or the image or illustrations of the twin peonies. So it flowers. In a faraway garden of Queen Lilac, there is an extra extraordinary twin. They are the twin. Peonies. Wow, ang ganda ng mga flowers na to, no? <laughs> and by the way, yung story natin is gawa ni Tutor Alex. Tutor Alex, uh, wala siya dito because wala ulit ng kuryente sa kanilang school. Mm -hmm. Again, in a faraway garden of Queen Lila. There is an extraordinary twin. They are the twin peonies. Twin peonies are both very pretty, regardless of their different appearance. One is color light pink, and the other one is color fuchsia pink. Remember, ha? Remember this one, ha? You have to listen carefully. And <laughs> si Tutor Worley yan. Sab ayan, wait lang, no? Magbabasa tayo ng comment. Sabi ni Faith, so pretty. Si Martin, ganda ng mga bulaklak. Si, ayan, si Faith Agatha, sabi niya, Miss you, Tutor Alex. Yes. Si Eileen, wow, mukhang lotus flower. Okay, so sabi ni Shonai is, we will be a detective in this story. Uh, ano po yung fuchsia? Actually, uh, fuchsia is color din siya. Ibang shade ng color pink. Yun yun, Martin Angel. Ibang shade ng color pink. Mas dark siya, mas dark, darker. So, again, one is color light pink. This one, you see my yung mouse. And then... The other one is color fuchsia pink. Darker siya. Mas darker. Parang pink rin po. Okay. Although all the flowers of seasons, mapa, ano pa yan? Nagbubloom sila. Mm, ganda. Throughout the seasons, di ba? Nagbubloom sila. Their petals are as fragrant as a perfume of a queen they attract bees like how sugar attracts ants wow ang also oh, remember this ano ha this this 
uh, this one. Their petals are as frag fragrant as a perfume of a queen. They attract bees like how sugar attracts ant. Wow, ang ganda. Okay. So that's the end of our story. It's very short. So thank you, Tutor Alex, sa story, sa napakagandang story na ito. Okay. So it's application time. Okay. For the directions for our application time, answer the following questions by choosing the letter of the correct answer. So, hi, Stacy Francisco Papa. Hi. Hello. Wow, what a short story. <laughs> okay, so I hope you listened uh, very well to our story a while ago. So, I hope you will still get a perfect score in our short quiz. Okay, let's begin. So, answer the following question by choosing the letter of the correct answer. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Number one. Are the twin peonies similar or different? A. Similar. B. Different. Or letter C. They have similarities and differences. What is your answer? A, B, or C? Si Aileen ang bilis, so sabi niya letter C. Even Shania Venice, even si Cheska Sanchanko, even Faye Paula, even Krisha May Cruz. Ayan, mga readers of the week natin, nagko-comment to. Ayan, si Heavenly Heart then letter C. Martin, letter C. Si Faye, letter C ang sagot nila. Ayan, sino pa ba? Si, oh, Stacy Francisco Papa, letter C. Ayan, yung mahabol, yung mga galing EPP, dito sa Reading Remediation. Si Vince Javier San Pedro, ay, hi Vince, hello. Yung mga dating readers of the week, kaso hindi sila nakapanood last week. So, hello. Arkin Stephen, letter C, ang sagot niya. Wow. Andyan pa ba ang iba? Okay, so let's reveal the answer. All of you, you answered letter C. So let's reveal the answer for item number one. So the answer is letter C. You got it right. One point. Yes. So the twin peonies, they have similarities and at the same time, they have differences. Actually, kahit yung mga twins na tao, persons, yes, they are they are look alike, but you know what? They have something in, they have differences then. Although the twins or the persons na magkamuka is, yes, they have similarities. They are, they are the same faces, but you know, they have something, uh, they, they are different then. Like yung characters nila, like yung, mm, some, uh, like, like yung, the way they dress, something like that. Okay, so let's proceed to si Martin, sabi niya, look alike, but they have different ugali, like different things, or different na gusto nila. Attitude po, yes, maybe attitude, the way they, they dress, the way they talk, something like that. Yung mga gusto nila in life. Okay, so let's proceed to item number two. What is the similarity of the twin fiennes? Their looks, their colors, or their attitude? Letter A, their looks. Letter B, their colors. Or C, their attitude. Ano daw yung similarities nila? Yung dalawang uh, fiennes, yung twin na yon. Their looks, their colors, or their attitude. Oh, wait, wait lang para C or A bang sagot ni Martin? The letter C or letter A ba? Ayan, so Faye Paula sagot niya letter A, even Faye, even Shania, even Eileen, si Heavenly Heart then, si... Stacy, 
Vince Javier, letter A, ang sagot din niya. Arkin Stephen. Ayan. Marthin. Ayan, may final na siyang answer ay letter A. Okay, so, what is the answer for number 2? The answer is letter A. Good job! You're correct. It's letter A. They have similarities on their looks. Kasi, same pa din naman silang flower. At saka yung ano nila, appearance nila, same na same. Yung same na flower. Their looks. Okay. So, let's proceed to item number three. Item number three is Twin Phoenix are both very pretty. But one is color light pink while the other one is color fuchsia pink. What type? So the question is, what type of similarities and differences is used in the statement above? Ayan. Hi, good morning po kay Eliza Jane Antriquino. Hello, sorry po, late na po. It's okay, no? Nothing to worry. So it's letter A, classification. Letter B, comparison. Or letter C, analysis. What is the answer? Letter A, classification. Letter B, comparison. Or letter C, analogies. Ayan. Tingnan natin ang mga sagot. For number three, ang sagot ni Faith ay letter A. Hindi siya sure, no? May question mark. Si Shania ay letter B. May question mark din. Si Eliza, letter A, ang sagot niya. Si Eileen, hindi rin siya sure. Letter B or C? Hmm. Si Faye, Paula, sagot niya ay letter B. Sure na sure siya doon. Even Cheska, Sanchanko, sagot niya ay letter B. Si Daphne Alberca Hibayo, shout out. Ayan, watching here from ayan, grade 6, Jego Silang. Ang advisor niya ay si Miss Ellen B. Estacaan of San Roque Central Elementary School, District Davao City. Um, sagot nila Martin. O oh, si Martin, sure na sure. Letter B ang sagot niya. Sino pa ba? Si Felicity, not sure then. Letter B. Heavenly Heart ang sagot niya ay letter A. Sure na sure siya doon. Si Eliza, sagot niya letter B. Okay, sagot ni Faith. Okay, I'm sure. Letter B. Si Stacy, letter B ang sagot. O si Shania, sure na siya. Letter B. <laughs> letter B. Okay, so let's reveal. O si Eliza, letter B ang sagot. So let's reveal the answer for item. O si Vince, humabo, letter B. So the answer for item number three is letter B. Yes, it's complete. Comparison. Comparison. Sure na, sabi ni Felicity, sure na, sure na. Kasi siya kanina, kasi siya kanina, kasi question mark, ahaha. Okay, so, answer for item number three is letter B. Because it's comparison. Yes, they are comparing it. But, but, remember the word but one is color light pink. And remember this, while the other one is color pusha pink. Yes. Yes. Who, who got it? Yes. Okay. Let's proceed to number four. Number four. Although all the flowers in the garden start to blossom on summer season, these twins, peonies, bloom all throughout the seasons. What types of similarities and differences is used in the statement above? A. Classification. B. Comparison. Or letter C. Analogies. Ano ba? Yung sure na sure na answer ninyo. <laughs> Ayan, si Okay, tignan natin, ha? Nakaka-excite naman tignan yung mga sagot ninyo. 
Okay, si Faye Paula, not sure. Letter A with a question mark. Si Faith Paula, sure na eh, si Faith Agata, sorry. Si Faith Agata, sure siya. Letter B ang sagot niya. Si Martin, sure na sure siya. Letter C ang sagot. Si Heavenly Heart, sure na sure. Letter A ang sagot. Okay, si Shania, not sure. Letter A. So ba, si Martin, bukang may question mark na ang letter C niya. Eliza, sure na sure, letter A ang sagot. Even Cheska, not sure siya, may question mark. Shania, Venice. Okay, si Vince Javier, sure na sure, letter A ang sagot. How about the others? What is your answer? Not sure, letter sa letter C, sabi ni Martin. Okay, so si Aileen, ano ba sagot niya? Letter A ang sagot niya. Si Felicity, A or C? Hmm. Si Adrian Ray, hindi ko nakita yung comment kung ano ba yung sagot niya. Gulong-gulo na sila. Oh, sabi ni Heaven, uh, letter A daw, I think because of the word although. <laughs> let's see. Okay, okay, so let's reveal the answer for item number four. So the answer for item number four, letter A, it's classification. Remember? Ayan, although all the flowers, all the flowers, they classify it, all flowers. Ayan, it's letter A. The answer is letter A. Ayan, si Martin, no, humabal pala siya, the letter A. Yes, you got it right, guys. Good job. And for those who, ayan, sa mga hindi nakakuha, it's, it's okay. Diba, natututo tayo lagi. There's always a room for improvement. Natututo tayo. Okay, so last item, number five. Ayan, di ba? Nakaka-excite. Di ba? Tama. Tama ba yung sagot natin? Mali ka yung sagot natin? Kung mali man, is na nako-correct. Hmm. Okay, so number five. They attract bees like how sugar attracts ants. What type of similarities and differences is used in the statement about A. Classification, B. Comparison, or letter C. Analogies? Ayan. We learn from mistakes, sabi ni Faith. Okay, so si Shania, letter C. Oh, mukhang sure na sure na kayo sa sagot nyo, ha? Let si Shania, letter C ang sagot niya. Even Eileen, o put. Si Martin Angel, letter C. Si Faye Paula, letter C. Si Faith, letter B ang sagot. Mm -hmm, sure na sure siya doon. Si Christian May Cruz, letter C. Arian Gimeo Psycho. Hi, Arian Letter C ang sagot niya. Si Vince Javier din, letter C. Si Heavenly Heart, letter C. Si Shanae, sabi niya, sure po, sa C po. Okay. Sure na sure na letter C. Oh, si Faith, pinalitan niya ang sagot niya. Nagpunta sa letter C. Siguro nag-isip siya. Nag-recall siya. nag siya. Sagot niya, letter C. Is Daisy Francisco Papa letter C? Okay. So, all of you, you answered letter C. Walang ibang sagot. Sure na sure na ba sa letter C? Hmm. Sure na ba kayo doon? Sure na sure na ba? <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> sabi, ni, uh, sabi ni Felicity Letter D, maiba naman. <laughs> okay, so let's reveal the answer for number five. Okay, so the answer is analogies. Letter C, sabi ni Heavenly, finding similarities between two unrelated things. Yes, you got it right. Good job, everyone. Yes, they attract bees like how sugar attract ants. Yes, analogies. Yes, finding similarities between two unrelated things. So, how's your score? Kamusta ang score? Si Faye Paula, perfect score. 5 out of 5. Even Cheska, Sanchanko, and Eileen Okut. Yay! Good job! And Faith then. 
Yes. And Stacy, perfect score. Ayan. Faye Paula, perfect score. Even Marthin, perfect score. Yes. And for those who did not get a perfect score, don't worry because marami pang pagkakat on. There are a lot of chances. Sanchez. And even Vince Javier. Yes, congratulations sa ating lahat, sabi ni Martin. Yes, good job everyone. Yes, good job. Ayan. Purple heart ang ano ni Fate. Okay, so wow, good job. Here's the key to Nitri store. I hope you get to talk to the moon quickly. Good luck. Yes, congratulations, guys. You passed the challenge in night twos. So for our lesson recap, is recognizing similarities and differences. And before we end our session, I just want to leave you this quote. Is you can find magic wherever you look. So sit back and relax. All you need is a book. Yes. Yeah, mag-read lang tayo ng mag -read. And get featured. So remember, is post your weekly pictures while attending a live tutorial in the DepEd E2Live Facebook page or group. And don't forget to tag your tutors, Warley Miranda and Sue Alexander Cruz. Yes, don't forget to tag us and don't forget to post. Yung iba din nagpo-post. But they are very active in participating during our live session so thank you so much and don't forget our hashtags hashtag rr46 hashtag it's lie level up hashtag tutor warly hashtag tutor alex and don't forget to stay awesome and your boys mothers we want to hear it from you so don't forget our uh scan this qr code or this um this link and yes, thank you guys for participating. Watch more from e session. Huwag aalis ha, meron pang session from e So see you again next Friday and stay awesome. Thank you and have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ang husay naman. Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!